Lily Pons was a French-American operatic soprano and actress who had an active career from the late 1920s through the early 1970s. As an opera singer she specialized in the coloratura soprano repertoire and was particularly associated with the title roles in L'Acme Copyright and Lucia di Lamamou. In addition to appearing as a guest artist with many opera houses internationally, Pons enjoyed a long association with the Metropolitan Opera in New York City where she performed nearly 300 times between 1931 and 1960. She also had a successful and lucrative career as a concert singer which continued until her retirement from performance in 1973. From 1935 a Euro 37 she made three musical films for AKO Pictures. She also made numerous appearances on radio and on television, performing on variety programs like The Ed Sullivan Show, The Colgate Comedy Hour, and The Dave Garraway Show among others. In 1955 she topped the bill for the first broadcast of what became an iconic television series, Sunday Night at the London Palladium. She made dozens of records, recording both classical and popular music. She was awarded the Croix de Lorraine and the La Copyright Guinée d'Honneur by the government of France. Pons was also savvy at making herself into a marketable cultural icon. Her opinions on fashion and home decorating were frequently reported in women's magazines, and she appeared as the face for Lockheed Airplanes, Knox Gelatin and Libby's tomato juice advertisements. A town in Maryland named itself after her, and thereafter the singer contrived to have all her Christmas cards posted from Lily Pons, Maryland. Opera News wrote, Pons promoted herself with a kind of marketing savvy that no singer ever had shown before, and very few have since. Only Luciano Pavarotti was quite so successful at exploiting the mass media. Early Life and Education Born as Alice Joza Copyright Fine Pons in Draguignan near Cannes, to a French father, La Copyright Anard Louis Auguste Antoine Pons, and an Italian born mother, Maria, later known as Marie Par Copyright Tranil Pons. She first studied piano at the Paris Conservatory, winning the first prize at the age of 15. At the onset of World War I in 1914, she moved with her mother and younger sister Juliette to Cannes where she played piano and sang for soldiers at receptions given in support of the French troops and at the famous Hotel Carlton that had been transformed into a hospital, and where her mother worked as a volunteer nurse orderly. On October 15, 1930, Pons married her first husband August Messritz, a successful publisher, and spent the next several years as a housewife. The marriage would end in divorce on December 7, 1933. In 1925, encouraged by soprano Dinah Boomer and Mesritz who agreed to fund her singing career, she started taking singing lessons in Paris with Alberto de Garostiega. She later studied singing with Alice Sapilli in New York. Career Pons successfully made her operatic debut in the title role of La Copyright au Delibes Lacma Copyright at Mulhouse in 1928 and went on to sing several coloratura roles in French provincial opera houses. She was discovered by the dramatic tenor impresario Giovanni Zinatlo, who took her to New York where she auditioned for Giulio Gatti Casaza, the general manager of the Metropolitan Opera. The Met needed a star coloratura after the retirement of Amelita Galli Cassi in January, 1930. Gatti Casaza engaged Pons immediately and she also signed a recording contract with RCA Victor. On January 3, 1931, Pons, unknown in the U.S., made an unheralded Met debut as Lucia in Donizetti's Lucia di Lamamou and on that occasion the spelling of her first name was changed to Lily. Her performance received tremendous acclaim. She became a star and inherited most of Galli Cursi's important coloratura roles. Her career after this point was primarily in the United States. She became a naturalized citizen of the United States in 1940. From 1938 to 1958, she was married to conductor Andra Copyright Koslanitz. In 1955 they built a home in Palm Springs, California. Pons was a principal soprano at the Met for 30 years, appearing 300 times in 10 roles from 1931 until 1960. Her most frequent performances were as Lucia, Lacma Copyright, Gilda in Verdi's Rigoletto, and Rosina in Rossini's The Barber of Seville. 
she drew a record crowd of over 300,000 to Chicago's Grant Park Music Festival in 1939 for a free concert. In 1944, during World War II, Pons cancelled her fall and winter season in New York and instead toured with the USO, entertaining troops with her singing. Her husband Andre Koslanitz directed a band composed of American soldiers as accompaniment to her voice. The pair performed at military bases in North Africa, Italy, the Middle East, the Persian Gulf, India and Burma in 1944. In places, the heat of the sun at the outdoor performances was so overbearing that Pons, always wearing a strapless evening gown, held wet towels to her head between numbers. In 1945, the tour continued through China, Belgium, France and Germania Euro a performance near the front lines. Returning home, she toured the U.S., breaking attendance records in cities such as Milwaukee at which 30,000 attended her performance on July 20, 1945. That same month she also played Mexico City, directed by Gatano Merola. Other roles in her repertoire included Olympia in Off and Back's The Tales of Hoffman, Feline in Ambroise Thomas's Mignon, Amina in Bellini's La Sonnambula, Marie in Donizetti's The Daughter of the Regiment, the title role in Delibes Lack of My Copyright, the Queen in Rimsky Kosakov's The Golden Cockerel, and the title role in Donizetti's Linda D. Chemenix. The last major new role Pons performed was Violetta in Traviata, which she sang at the San Francisco Opera. Another role Pons learned, but decided not to sing was Melisande in Debussy's opera Pelias A. Melisande. The reason, as she confided in a later interview, was twofold, first, because she felt soprano du Sanapando owned the role. And, secondly, because the tessitura lay mainly in the middle register of the soprano voice rather than in the higher register. In her last performance at the Met, on December 14, 1960, she sang Cara Gnome from Rigoletto as part of a gala performance. She also made guest appearances at the Opa Copyright Ragania in Paris, Covent Garden in London, La Monnaie in Brussels, Tetro Cola Cube Den in Buenos Aires, the Chicago Opera and the San Francisco Opera. Her final opera appearance was as Lucia to the Edgardo of 21-year-old Placido Domingo in 1962 at the Fort Worth Opera. She continued to sing concerts until 1973. On February 11, 1960, Pons appeared on NBC's The Ford Show, starring Tennessee Ernie Ford. Radio, television, and film she starred in three RKO films, I Dream Too Much with Henry Fonda, That Girl from Paris in Hitting a New High. She also performed an aria in the 1947 film Carnegie Hall. Death, she died of pancreatic cancer in Dallas, Texas, aged 77. Her remains were brought back to her birthplace to be interred in the Samisha Redu Grand Jazz in Cannes. Her nephew, John de Boy, an archaeologist living in Florida, is her sole surviving relative in the United States. His sister, Florence de Biry Mini, who lives near Paris is Lily's last direct relative in France. Legacies, a village in Frederick County, Maryland, 10 miles south of Frederick, Maryland is called Lily Pons in her honor. George Gershwin was in the process of writing a piece of music dedicated to her when he died in 1937. The incomplete sketch was found among Gershwin's papers after his death and was eventually revived and completed by Michael Tilson Thomas and given the simple title, For Lily Pons. Pons donated Eta, her pet ocelot, to the New York Zoological Gardens when it became too dangerous to remain in Pons Central Park West apartment. Pons had received the pet, which he believed was a baby jaguar, from a friend in Brazil. The pet and Pons were very attached to each other but it snarled at visitors and was deemed a hazard. Boston and Main Railroad was buying a new class of locomotives in the 1930s. The railroad had a contest for school kids to name the new engines. The winning suggestion for engine 4108 was Lily Pons. The cartoon The Woods are full of cuckoos caricatures Pons as Lily Swans. Recordings, in the late 1930s she made three movies for IKO. There is a large legacy of recordings, mostly on the RCA Victor and Columbia labels, many of which are available on CD. References equals Bibliography equals, James A. Drake and Kristen B. Or Ludek, 
Ed Lilly Pons, A Centennial Portrait. Amadeus Press. ISBN 1 57467 047 6, pages 195 a euro 96. External links Lily Pons Biography at Opera Viva, Lily Pons at the Internet Movie Database, Lily Pons at All Movie, Lily Pons at All Music, Lily Pons at Virtual History.